All right, guys, today we are going to build a very simple Arduino based VU meter. So, we're going to use the Nano and the breadboard, and we're going to use an electric microphone. Now, to use this, you want to use a 10k resistor between positive side of the microphone and our 5 volt source and then in the same row we are going to use a jumper to a zero and then the other leg goes to our ground rail now I'm also going to hook up ground and 5 volt from the Arduino our power rails next we're going to set up our VU meter and we're going to use five of these uh, standard LEDs I'm going to put the positive on the right two greens two yellows and a red that one over a little bit These, of course, get 220 ohm resistors between the cathode, the negative connection, and ground. That is to limit the current. could have been bad it's always good to double check your connections you know make sure things are plugged in where they're supposed to be <laughs> otherwise you might accidentally let the smoke out of something and if you do don't worry about it I mean you've obviously killed that but happens to everybody So I guess what I'm saying is, you know, don't be embarrassed if you do that. It happens. Nobody's perfect. Just move on. Just having a little trouble seeing <laughs> a deep down in there. There we go.
And then lastly, we're going to hook up the positive connections from our LEDs, the anodes from D2 to D6. Now this is an incredibly crude VU meter, so don't expect fantastic performance. This is mainly being done to show you the programming technique involved. So there we have it. Now let's talk about the programming. Alright guys, let's talk about the programming now. So we're not declaring any variables above the setup this time. We're going to declare them uh, within the main loop of the program. We are going to need to turn all of our digital pins to output so pin mode 2 through pin mode 6 are all set for output now I have a serial begin here and you can see it's commented out I use that just to look up the values that the microphone is reporting you can turn that on if you like so you can see the values but it's not really necessary <clears throat> Next, we are going to declare an integer value called mic, and that will be the analog read of the microphone on analog port 0. Then an integer called value, which is what mic equals. And you know what? You really don't even need to do that. You could just replace val down here with mic. I don't even know why I did that, but it works. And here we begin with the if-else statement. Now, we used an if statement before to look for one thing. We are going to use the if else statement to look for multiple things. So we say if the value double equal sign equals 9, digital write 2, hi. Turn on the first LED. Wait 10 milliseconds, turn it off. If it equals 10, turn on pin 2 and pin 3. If it equals 11, turn on 2, 3, and 4. If it equals 12, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if it's any higher, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. See how that works? We're building on it each time. So we say, if the first time, then we say else if, else if and for our final condition, we just give it an else. If none of those conditions are true, then do this. And that is pretty much it for the programming. Let's take a look of it, a look at it in action, and go from there. All right, let's have a look and see if it works. So that's it, a simple Arduino VU meter using an electric microphone, five LEDs, and the Nano. That music was copyright free from YouTube called A New Leaf by Silent Partner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Catch you next time.